Hey, K kids, welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first lesson in this series um, leading up to Easter and the crucifixion of Jesus. So today we're gonna talk about um, Jesus did the right thing, even when it was um, hard, even though it was hard. Jesus is arrested at Gethsemane, is the, the story that we're gonna be looking at, and it's from Matthew chapter 26. And the today's memory verse is, if you love me, obey my commandments. John 14, 15. So today's um, Bible story is um, kind of leads off of, you know, the Passover where Jesus had had the meal with the disciples last week we talked about, and he taught them a very important thing, and that was to serve others. I hope this week that you found a way to serve somebody. Um, I know it's hard being quarantined and everything, but um, I hope that you found something that you could do to help somebody out or to serve somebody. So, um, after the Passover, Jesus decided the next night that he needed to go talk to his father. Something bad was gonna happen and he knew that, so he decided he'd go to the Garden of Gethsemane. He asked his disciples to go, and so they went with him, and um, and he went back there to pray. He, he kind of separated himself from the disciples. He asked the disciples to do one thing, and that was to stay awake and pray or to pray. And so he goes back there and this is his first prayer. His first prayer says, Jesus prayed a prayer like this. Um, I know it will be soon, it will soon be time for me to die, God. I know people will hurt me. If you're, if you will, please take away the suffering that I have to go through. But God, I know it's more important for you to be pleased. It's important for me to follow your plan. So please make whatever is about to happen, um, let it happen the way you want it to, the way the Bible says. Amen. And so Jesus went back to check on his disciples, and guess what? They'd all fallen asleep. So Jesus said this to them. He said, could you not watch with me even one hour? Keep, you, keep watch and pray so that... Um, you will not give in to do the wrong thing. And so the second time Jesus goes back there to pray and he says, God, is there a way to take away the suffering that I'm about to go through? Please do not do it. And um, I want, but I want to do whatever you want me to do. And again, he goes back and guess what? The disciples have gone back to sleep. Jesus is not happy again. So um, Jesus went away a third time and prayed the same thing again and then came back and guess what he found the third time? The third time he also found the disciples asleep. Um, look, the time has come. One of our friends has um, turned me in. See, here he comes. So they had this time that they could have been praying for Jesus and to God for Jesus and they didn't take advantage of it. Um, so here comes somebody. Guess who it is? It's Judas. God knew, Jesus knew exactly who was going to betray him, and it was Judas. And Judas was leading a group of the Roman soldiers. Judas came to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. This was the sign the Romans show, to show the Roman soldiers that um, Jesus was the man they should arrest. The soldiers rushed to arrest Jesus. Then one of Jesus' disciples reached for a sword. And you know what Jesus said? He didn't even want to fight. He wanted to do the right thing. So he said, put away your sword. I could, I could ask God to send thousands of angels to protect me, but we must let things happen the way the Bible says they will happen. So he was going to do the right thing. Um, then the soldiers took away Jesus. Um, actually, in the book of Luke, I think it is. Let me look. Yes, in the book of Luke, um, one of the disciples had actually taken his sword and cut a guy's ear off, and Jesus put it back on. Here's the soldiers that have come to arrest him, and he actually puts the ear back on because he knows that it's the right thing to do. So, if Jesus didn't do anything wrong, why do you think that they wanted to arrest him? The soldiers thought that he, he was a false prophet, and the king wanted him dead, and they were mad at him. There's different reasons why. They were, they were, the soldiers were just sent to, to arrest Jesus. If Jesus didn't do anything wrong, why didn't he fight back? Because he knew that it was the right thing to do. Just go ahead and go to jail if that's what they were going to do with him, to let them arrest him. Have you ever gotten in trouble for something that you didn't do? And how did it make you feel? Um, think about that as you think about Jesus dying on the cross and being arrested and dying on the cross. 
Um, and um, next week we're going to um, go on into the crucifixion of Jesus. Um, hope you enjoyed the lesson. Remember, if you love me, obey my commandments. John 14, 15. Have a good week.